Hey everybody, welcome back. I often get asked the question about the tailpipe radio that I use when I'm out uh, activating parks on the air. What that is, is a wire connected from my TriMag mount base and the wires run across the top of the vehicle and connected to the exhaust pipe on the, uh, on the uh, car, vehicle. And people ask me, does that really work? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I think it does. Um, you know, it can't hurt anything. A little extra uh, ground plane underneath my antenna. Figure that doesn't hurt anything. It helps out. So we're out here today. We're going to actually test this and see if it does make a difference. We're going to run three different tests. We're going to run one test, the first test, with Whisper. We're going to use a half a watt on all these tests. And uh, we're going to try it without any radios, no nothing, just mag mounted raw to the top of the vehicle. And then our second test is we're going to run the wire from the mag mount down to the tailpipe and see uh, what kind of results we have there. And then the third test we're going to do is oftentimes when I don't uh, mind having a larger footprint when I'm out at a park, I run four uh, elevated radials, 16 feet around each corner of the vehicle and I'll connect them to the mag mount as well. So we're going to test the four uh, raised radios as well. So let's go check it out and uh, who knows what's going to happen and like you know propagation changes moment by moment we all know that. So this is just kind of be a raw field test it's not scientific we're just going to see what happens and see what the results are. So come on let's go. So for the first test we're using the MFJ 1979 whip antenna, 17 feet long, fully extended. We got it up here on the tri-mag mount. And uh, the car, the vehicle, is facing east for orientation purposes. That is east, is that way. All right, let's go inside and run a whisper test and see what kind of contacts we make. Our testing equipment is going to be the FX4CR radio and the power here is going to be at 0.5 watts, half a watt, and we're using the ZM2ATU uh, MTech tuner which is tuned perfectly one for one uh, right on the money. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to use the Whisper app on the phone. And uh, we'll start and uh, let's see here, generate whisper and let's see, wait time. Oh, it's, it's in its cycle now. So we're just going to have to wait till it goes through its full cycle. Um, so we'll be right back. One thing you'll probably notice is when I'm transmitting the audio out of the phone into the microphone on the radio, you'll see me... Um, start here maybe and move my phone away and then get baby back a little closer what i'm doing is i don't want to overdrive the microphone with the audio uh, volume too loud so i will watch the power uh the power meter on my radio and i'll see that it's a half a watt and as i pull away the half a watt will start start uh, getting lower and then i'll bring it back a little closer so i'm right on the on the edge of not too much and just enough uh, audio coming into the mic with the data stream. Okay, so we got about 10 seconds here. And as soon as it gets down to one second, I'll hit the push to talk and we'll be transmitting data over the mic. Okay, the test results are in. Our first test, no radios, no nothing, just pure mag mounted antenna, a whip antenna on the roof of the car. And we had a total of 95 spots. And let's just hit reload just to make sure we got them all. Oh, 97, we picked up a couple extra there. We got good radiation pattern around the United States. We picked up a few DX stations over here into Europe as well. So that is our first look here at our first test. And now we'll go out and we'll hook up the tailpipe radio and take a look at those results. So here's how we do the tailpipe radio. Basically, I have, I can't see the phone, it's so bright. I have the, uh, the alligator clip and a wire 
connected right here to the uh, bolt on the tri-mag mount and I take this wire and we bring it around back the car and we get down on our old man knees Ugh, crawl underneath the vehicle oh my gosh get too old for this stuff all right there's the tailpipe we take our alligator clip and we clip it right on there give her a good uh, good squeeze and and uh, good squeeze and a little wiggle to make sure we got good connection there to the metal and let's go inside and make another test okay here's the results of test two man this is exciting stuff all right we had a total of 101 spots let's go ahead and hit low to make sure we got them all yep all right we picked up a hawaii station out here in the pacific we had a good uh, radiation pattern around the united states and we've got a few dx stations over into europe not as many as the first one but uh, we did pick up a few more extra stations that hurt us and we picked up hawaii on this test and this is the tailpipe radial uh, test now we'll move on and we'll go out and put up the four elevated radials around the vehicle all right we've got the four radials surrounding the vehicle they're 16 foot radials because we're on 20 meters they're elevated I've got them tied off here to these little fiberglass three foot rods and there's one here there's one off the northwest corner of the vehicle going up and also over here to the southeast corner and just to show you how we've got them connected here on the mag mount their alligator clipped right to those bolts on the mag mount and then we've got the uh, other radial heading off there to the northeast all right man this is exciting let's see how this performs let's go while we're waiting for test results number three i thought uh, i'd answer a question i get quite often is why do i have this rag underneath my mag mount is it to keep the vehicle from getting scratched well that's part of it but one of the main reasons is so I can get it off the vehicle. Uh, this provides a little bit of a buffer between the vehicle and the magnet where I can grab a hold and lift up a lot easier. And when I do that, it keeps these edges from uh, scratching the paint as I'm lifting. So that's the main reason that I have the, uh, the rag underneath the magnet, just to keep the sharp edges here when I tip it up. Uh, from scratch of the paint and also so that it's easier to actually get it separated from the from the metal and the results are in from test number three the four raised radi uh, radials that are surrounding the vehicle do we have any predictions out there of what we think we're going to see let's dive in and take a look all right we had a total of 115 spots i'm going to reload that and a good radiation pattern around the United States. And we have good DX. We picked up a few more DX stations over into Europe on this last test. So there you have it, 115 spots. And uh, that was test number three. Well, there you have it. Were the results what you expected? And like I mentioned before, propagation changes moment by moment. We all know that. So, uh, you know, it worked and uh, we had a good test and good results. It was kind of fun out here just kind of just see really what is happening with those radials and what's, what's going on. Um, will I continue using the tailpipe radio? You bet. I'm going to continue using that when I want a smaller footprint in a park and uh, don't have a lot of room to put radials around. And yes, when I go to a park and have room, I'm going to use the four radials elevated around the vehicle as well. So anyway, there you go. Um, hope you had fun and uh, enjoyed the test. It was a great sunny day out here, a little windy, but uh, we got her done before the snow starts flying this year. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. Appreciate you uh, supporting the channel. And we'll say 7-3. Ah!